I suppose for companies that really just don't know where to start or what language to use or how to talk about it, what, what they do provide is a, a common language. You know, they're global. They, can, they are used by, um, by countries, by governments, by organisations, by businesses all across the world. So in terms of, of, of getting that kind of common understanding around what issues are being tackled rather than avoiding some of the jargon that you talked about, that, that that framework is, is there so I think the biggest um, danger in, in some ways is that companies look at them and they think there's 17 of those I could never mm. gosh how am I going to do all of those yeah. that's not what it's about and I know uh, yeah. you've, you've got know, something yeah, to, you to say tell us that, about, yeah. you know, if you tell us a wee bit about your yeah. experience of looking at them and, 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 and what ones you decided were relevant for Smiley Monroe yeah well I think just to follow on to that point, the first thing I thought was that, you know, it can be overwhelming, but and I only came on my radar relatively recently. Um, but I think because they're global, that very thing is like, it's not just Northern Ireland. You know, sure wasn't matter to us if the ice caps are melting. You know, it's this being part of it, that global community. And I think, you know, the, the message you get from them is, you know, it's a global problem that needs a global solution. We're all, we all either win together or we all lose together in terms of, and that is back to the climate, but looking at everything, education, et cetera. So, yeah, I think um, I like the framework. Um, I, I like the fact that um, you you feel that you are part of a, a bigger effort. So when I looked at them, yeah, 17, read down 17, Googled it. Um, other search engines were available. Um, and Lego di- Lego've got two. And I love, big fan of Lego. Uh, who isn't? Who isn't? You know, just <laughs> amazing on every level and, and I thought well if it's good enough for them and looked at the two so education because Legos would play um, and I thought okay what's the other one and it was 12 I think uh, sustainable responsible, magi- consumption. responsible consumption and <laughs> manufacturing so I thought okay we're both manufacturers um, and Lego bricks are you could argue are marginally more interesting than uh, rubber conveyor belts so you know and then I um, was chatting about it today, actually, in preparation for this, and chatting to Jane and um, people development and nature. And we were saying, you know, we read through those 17. And we, the other thing was that I think I was also at an event earlier in the week, and the company who were telling their story, um, they went for 17. It's a fair play. Now you could, you know, you can have a go, but I think when we looked at, we looked at, say, we looked at um, diversity, gender um, equality, and education and fair pay and all those things, we, we sort of thought, well, you know, it's a bit like the values again. Um, those are our baseline. You know, we, we should be doing all that. So I think we thought, you know, we'll we can make an impact again. It's back to scope three, back to supply chain. Yeah. Our biggest impact that we'll make when we look at that side of things and not the S and the G is is we, we, we need, we will be looking at our global supply chain, the stuff outside our control. Yeah.